The European Commission is trying to get young girls interested in science. Now we do have an issue here in the United States as well where young kids are not getting involved in science enough, especially young girls. Well, the European Commission has a very creative way to get women or young girls interested in science. Let's watch. Okay, we shortened that ad significantly, but the entire ad consists of these girls, you know, uh, flaunting their fashion and their makeup and they're posing with like their lab coats. And they're showing that scientist what for, don't you know? <laughs> that guy scientist, boy, he just doesn't know what hit him. He doesn't know what he's missing with science <laughs> when he's not wearing high heels and short skirts and lipstick. Okay, I have a different take on this than you do. Really? Yes, I do. Uh, I. I I think that science, especially among young kids, is seen as something that's too goofy and uh, it's not something that the popular kids get involved in. It's not seen as something that's hip or cool. And I feel like they're, a, you know, what they were attempting to do in this video is to make science appealing and cool and edgy for young girls, right? Now I think that they kind of failed because too much of the ad was focused on the girls doing this. Doing their glamazon look, yeah. Yeah, like if there was a little less of that and a little more of the petri dishes, I would be 100% in favor of it because you got to think of we're we're older, obviously, and we look at that and we're like, really, the makeup, the fashion, like. But what do kids think? What do kid? What are, what are the priorities for kids? And it's to look cool, to look edgy, and I feel like the ad attempted to do that. Well, you know, I, I think that's a valid position, uh -huh. but um, my understanding of how kind uh, science plays among kids is that that girls generally, if you if you give them Legos, if you give them the kinds of toys that are traditionally given to boys, and you don't you know, choose for them the gender specific toys that they get to play with, they'll actually gravitate toward items like, you know, like Legos and we're engineering and stuff. And, it, and when they move further along in school, I think the public school and the private school system have a great deal to add to that because teachers have an unintentional bias sometimes. I know I got a very strong, very intentional bias from my high school science teachers that actually flat out told us, you know, girls, you really shouldn't go into a science career because you're just taking a job away from a man who's got to support a family. Yeah, we were flat out told that. Right. So, you know, it has changed. It has shifted somewhat. And, you know, we do have this extreme need to encourage our kids these days to get into the STEM uh, business, the, the STEM uh, areas, uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, mm -hmm. uh, because we have a great need for engineering in the future, right now and in the future. But, you know, I, I, I would be interested in seeing how this plays. Um, I, I know that they've pulled the ad since then. Yeah, look, they pulled the ad because they got criticism for it, yeah. right? So, um, you know, libs such as ourselves criticize them for it, and they're like, okay, fine, maybe this wasn't a good idea. But what's really interesting is this particular ad received 10 times as many hits than their other video. So wow. this was their attempt to be edgy, was to get attention. Do you think, like... I don't know, middle school kids are going to see some ad with, I don't know, some European guy telling them, oh, science is great, engineering is awesome, you should definitely get involved. They're not going to watch that, they're not interested in it. Well, you play a little techno music, you have some... You, you know, tart it up a little bit, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you know, that but, was what they were trying to do. Well, I don't think they were trying to, uh, you know, push female stereotypes. I know it looks that way, but I really feel like their heart was in the right place. And they got, oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. I think they were they were trying very hard to do uh, the right thing uh, for, for, you know, getting young girls interested and in saying, hey, you know, remember, in truth, you know, makeup is chemistry. And yeah. that's something that might attract some girls. And if it attracts those girls, then I do have to agree with you on that. More power to them.